5 Ways to Start Investing with Little Money There is a myth that you need to be rich to start investing, or investing is for the rich. Guess what? That's not true. Anyone can invest. Everyone should invest, and there is never a better time to start than now. Robert Kiyosaki, an American businessman and author, said, It's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. So, even if you earn very little, there's still no excuse for you not to invest. Maybe we should talk a little about the importance of investment before discussing ways to invest. Investment means to allocate money in the expectation of some benefit in the future. It is the act of putting money, effort, time, etc. into something to make a profit or get a return. Carlos Slim, a Mexican business magnate, engineer and investor, said anyone who's not investing now is missing a tremendous opportunity. 1. Invest in your money allows you to grow it. The return you get on your money allows your money to build up, creating wealth over time. 2. Investment also tends to offer the opportunity to earn higher rates of return than savings account. 3. Investment also allows you to reach your financial goals easily. This is only logical since it offers a higher rate of return than a savings account. Investment is one of the best and legal ways to accumulate wealth. So, if you dream of becoming a millionaire one day, investment is an option you should consider. In 2018, Warren Buffett, an American business magnate and a popular investor, made $1.5 million per hour on his investment without needing to trade any of his time for that money. I know, right? Wow! In this video, we'll be sharing with you 5 ways to start investing with little money. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Stock Market Either you call it stocks, shares or equities, it doesn't matter because they all refer to the same thing. A stock is a share of ownership in a company. So when the company profits, they may pay you a portion of those profits in dividends based on the number of shares of stocks you own. When you share ownership with a company, it means that you are entitled to part of that corporation's earnings and assets. As the company grows, the price of your shares increases as well, and you can eventually choose to sell them at a profit at a later date. Depending on the company you're dealing with, stock can range from a single digit to a couple of thousands of dollars. 2. Investment Bonds Governments and companies borrow money and issue IOUs or GILTs. A bond is essentially a loan to a company or a government entity which agrees to pay you back with interest in a certain number of years. Bonds include municipal bonds, savings bond, commercial bonds, and treasury bonds. The thing about bonds, however, is that they are typically considered less risky than stocks because not only are you guaranteed an interest rate, you also get a date on which they will be redeemed. Hence, their potential for returns is much lower as well. 3. Mutual Funds A mutual fund is a mix of funds. It's like this. Rather than buying stocks in one company, a mutual fund allows you to buy a basket of stocks in one purchase. The stocks are however chosen and managed by a mutual fund manager. Scott Cook, an American businessman, said mutual funds were created to make investing easy, so consumers wouldn't have to be burdened with picking individual stocks. As an investor in mutual funds, you can skip the process of picking individual stocks and bonds and instead purchase a diverse collection in one transaction. As a result of this diversification, it is less risky to invest in one. Ron Chenow, an American writer and journalist, said that mutual funds have historically offered safety and diversification, and they spare you the responsibility of picking individual stocks. The downside of this investment option, however, is that most mutual funds' investment managers charge a percentage-based fee when you invest in their mutual funds. 4. Property Investment Property investment is one of the best ways to invest your money. Andrew Kanegi, a billionaire industrialist, said, and I quote, 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. More money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined. The wise young man or wage earner of today invests his money in real estate. Also, according to Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, real estate investing, even on a very small scale, 
remains a tried and true means of building an individual's cash flow and wealth. You see, the value of housing rises faster. Rents also rise year by year. Yet people still keep purchasing or getting these things because they require shelter. Hence, they'll have to do whatsoever it takes to get them. You can start investing in property by participating in a crowdfunding project. However, be sure to find a credible and trustworthy company to work with. As your income increases, you should then consider purchasing bigger properties. 5. Physical Commodities Certain physical commodities such as gold and silver can serve as a form of investment. Although an investment like this takes time to build profit, so you don't get to enjoy the immediate benefits. However, they can serve as a safeguard against hard economic times. By now, I'm sure you agree that investment isn't as difficult as you once thought. And now, you can easily start investing with little money. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.